All right. And I'm curious to know if, uh, having not watched the full set last time, yeah, uh, where Shard beat Lod, uh, I'm curious to know if Peach can juggle her. I don't think she has a vertical mobility. I don't, yeah, she's not quick enough, but um, she can still get like nice hard hits on her. Uh, what I was seeing a lot from Lod before is he was starting to call out where she was going to teleport to. So um, he originally started, like, he kind of started getting a read, but he didn't know how to punish. Right. He was trying to do float cancel Nair, and it was just a little too hard to, like, find that that perfect spot. He started throwing turnips to cover it, and it was working really well. Yeah. Definitely it's a part of the matchup to cover her with lingering hitboxes. Yeah. Characters that don't find her a lot harder don't have lingering hitboxes. Yeah. Not quite dead yet, but uh, definitely kind of a risky position. And Shard is bringing that back. So what's cool about the fireball is the direction that it turns after you detonate it, it depended on what you were doing before you set it. So if he throws it out and he curves it up, when it starts moving again, it'll continue curving up on its way back. If you do it the other way, it'll go down. I did not know back. that. Yeah. So that'll be important when, you know, seeing how he's going to set these up because it teaches Coming down low, or, right? Yeah. I just think they always know where it's gonna go. They're just geniuses, yeah. and I don't understand <laughs> it at all. Wow, up air will just take it right there. Yeah. Um, another thing I saw a lot from Lod their, their previous set is Lod would sometimes like that exact position would happen, except Lod would get hit by the fireball and it would interrupt his punish. So in that one, it kind of clanked, so it did kind of like mess him up. Uh, before it would like pop him up, and sometimes. Chard was able to like reverse it. Right. So I don't know. Also, by the way, I don't know if you've mentioned this already, but uh, Lod uh, does have a Zelda who's pretty decent in his region. Altex. Does he? Oh, I didn't know that. Altex is pretty good, but I have no idea if they play because Altex is can be inactive at times, and okay. Lod is pretty inactive. So. Yeah, and I I wasn't sure how often Lod would have played someone like like. Yeah, Dime. he doesn't like, play lo at locals that often, yeah. but so there's I don't know if he has any experience, but yeah. he could have it if he wanted it. That, that was DI super. Was go ahead. Super <laughs> bad. The DI yeah. was bad. <laughs> what I did like is Chard like waited for the fireball to go away, so he wouldn't hit the fireball. Right. And it may have been that like Lod was like trying to hit the fireball, which is why I messed up his DI. But he didn't throw him until right after it detonated. <laughs> uh, Peach's dash dance is always so funny. Lod's dash dance is really good for yeah, how for poor her dash dance is. Yeah. And I want to see him throw out that back air there. Like, why not? You might yeah. cover the... Uh, yeah, if he... he just needs to, So he hasn't, like, totally been doing this, but you can just, like you were saying earlier, throw out a hitbox, run up, shield it, you know, right. just defuse that trap, basically. Right. You don't... You should respect it a little bit, Yeah. but also you should figure out places, ways in which you can yeah. disrespect it. <laughs> Um, these platforms are like really good for for Chard. He's like falling through and throwing out a forward air, back air, and it's like it's making it very scary for Lot to be under there. Oh, thought he almost go got an opening there. Wow, got hit by both of the furors yeah. into a combo. Nice. Good di. Okay, that time he goes for it. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of back air in those situations. Yeah. Art is really good at um, getting like these edge cancels too on these platforms. It seems like this stage he's in particular he has grinded like stuff like that. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely really good for her recovery. Yeah. She's great on platforms. Like I said, yeah. like oh, yeah. she definitely wants platforms. Yeah. Um. She, she has some advantages to her punish games on those flat stages, but I really think, like, um, at her best, she's good. In, in my yeah. opinion, if people who are, who are like, countering her correctly and playing her yeah. in the optimal way, she wants the platforms. Yeah, it helps with, like, Zelda's mobility, like, isn't super good without platforms, you know, too. Also, she wants to, like... Her tech chasing, uh, if you can tech chase with like fairs, it's like amazing. So if yeah. you can get them in a situation where they're on a platform, you cover yeah. a lot of space. Yeah, it's so much easier. Oh, like, is that oh, a stitch? Stitches, yeah, but yeah. He, doesn't, he doesn't have time to pick it She's up. He's just such a slow runner that like it can be hard. So if you have platform, you can wave land on or 
you know, less less space you have to cover, too. All right. Yeah, I, I love it when Zelda's do that. They dash forward slightly, so, like, the bigger it is, the slower it moves. I thought so, you said you didn't know anything about this character. Now you're, I, like, huh. saying all this stuff that I don't know. I know Fireball stuff because the Fireball stuff is why I stopped playing her. <laughs> oh, you used to play her? Yeah, I, I played her in 3.02. Um, she had the, the yeah. and this Orion's Fireball's, belt this fireball's fireball. probably better. I just enjoyed the character more in 3.02. But, yeah, so um, the bigger it is, the slower it'll move. And what you can do is you dash forward when the fat one is coming at you, and it'll, like, um... It'll loop around. It'll miss you, and it'll like keep homing and just kind of create this circle around you. Right. Does Lot glide toss? I just realized that he hasn't been grounded glide tossing very much. No, I don't think so. Or even aerial glide tossing. Yeah. I know aerial glide tossing with Peach can be like you have to be like a little careful because you can accidentally float instead. Interesting. Um, and when you're floating, if you try to like do an air AGT, you just you won't get in. You right. just won't get anything. Nice and it coverage there with an up. air. Yeah. He rolled back. Yeah, yeah. I I looked away, but it looked like he had. What's that's one of the things that is like so scary about Peach. She flow cancel fares you. Yeah. Positive. It's like good on shield. I don't know if it's positive or even or whatever. But she uh, she can down down smash and chew up your shield. Or if you roll, she can just wait and go the other way and punish you. Yeah. Basically, don't don't get in that situation if you can, because your options are all really bad. Yeah, I think this was the the game two in the in the first set as well. Except Chard won on Battlefield game one, and then Lod counterpicked here, and I'm pretty sure Chard won. So interesting. This is a Chard sick, coming back. Six Zelda stage. It's really good. Yeah. In my opinion. Okay. I mean, is it because the platform heights? Platform heights, so? like. She, oh wow! Yeah, she gets really low to the ground uh, forward air there. Think about if you have a dense fire or PK fire right there in the middle there. Oh yeah, you can't go on you the platform. You had it right the first time. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can't go on the platform or on top of the platform. You yeah, know, it really cuts off a lot of space. That makes sense. And uh, you know, heck, if you're on the platform while it's going down, you're just like, yeah, shoot, I gotta move. The fire's there. You know, relatively small sides, so she can kick very well. Um, yeah. yeah, so she's got a lot of lot of good things there. <laughs> Getting uh, dry mouth here. Need some caffeine, man. It's, it's jet lag over here. It's like midnight where I'm where I'm, you know, back at home. When are you flying back? I'm flying back Tuesday. Oh, nice. Yeah, so got a lot of time. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do with all that time. Well, if you wanna hang with us, we're here uh, until Monday. Let's do it. All right, Lod looking pretty strong. Yeah, this is basically how the, the games three and four looked um, in their last set, and Char just like clutched it out on, on the fifth game. So it actually wouldn't surprise me if Lod 3 0 him, just because like he looked so strong in right. game three and four. Yeah, but. Shard is like finding his kills like in ways that I think Ooh. he'll find them. Like, oh, oh my God! I take it back. That weak was amazing. Weak knee to knee, right? Yeah, weak I take that back. That was amazing. Knee. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, just that raw. Takes it. Yeah, right up the platform. I think he was probably still in the end lag for that from that uh, Nehru. Ultimately, I just think Turnip is a better tool than Inspire. Yeah. Look at that. Look at how easy that was to punish. Because. You can just the moment you do it, you just run in and attack. Uh, the the and thing that was happening before was uh, Lod would throw out a bunch of turnips, and it gave Char time to set up these things, the, the the traps and stuff, which made it pretty hard for Lod. But Lod was like, he changed up how he was pulling his turnips. He like spacing wise, and right. he'd only pull two, and it just let him like just stop that fireball from being an issue. Wow, wow. Dash is under it. How does he do this? Yeah. Like he doesn't play this game that often, but somehow his spacing is like Perfect. kind of immaculate yeah. on these like things that PF players get hit by all the time. Yeah. Just game sense, I guess. Game sense, yeah. And his uh sense. his dash dance and baiting is so good right yeah. now. He's just he's using dash atta dash attacks and grabs to react to everything Shard is doing. Oh, Ooh. he could grab ledge there, but yeah, uh, he had the right idea. He just misspaced it. 
It's funny, he did the melee too, where he didn't rar, he ran, jumped, and then threw the turn up yep. the other way. I think that time he rared it. It's kind of hard to tell if yeah. the camera pulled out. Yeah, that was nice. He, uh, didn't get much off of it, but yeah, he moved out of the way so that the fireball would help him out there. There's that bait again, but he actually, the dinge was there to, to, yeah. to stop it. Ooh. Like the returning dinge has been doing a lot of work for yeah. him. Yeah, interrupting stuff, like right here. Oh, that's yeah. the other thing you can do, like Chard can, if he has, if he's far enough away from Lot, he can pause it for a second to throw off spot, you know, right. a spot dodge or whatever it is that he's looking to do. I really like the way Shard played that stock. I think it was the right idea. Um, Lod was just right at the space where Lod would have a hard time running in with a dash attack. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my gosh. So much percent on. Okay. 75%, not too bad. Ugh. Oh my gosh. That was. A <laughs> that was really, really cool to look at. Uh, yep. Very it's like there. when Ikes do their side B and then they like pivot grab you while they're while they're flying yeah, across. Yeah. It's just so fast. It looks nice. All right. Yeah. Ooh, that'll be it. it. All right. Two up. Two zero oh for uh, Lod right now. He's. I mean, Shard is definitely gonna stay. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. I feel like Zelda players. They just play Zelda. Yeah. You gotta play Zelda. Yeah. I don't know if he has a secondary, but. I mean. The thing about Zelda's play Zelda players is they can have a secondary and still play Zelda. It's called Sheik. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, I was wrong. Oh, I was right. <laughs> uh, we saw him switch to, um, to Sheik a little bit in one of the games. It kind of worked. I don't know. It it, it felt like at that time, Lod was like more, much more familiar with the Sheik matchup. So yeah, he you know like, Sheik. I mean, yeah. Sheik is in some ways has a lot a lot, some more options. I mean, Crawl is yeah. like pretty solid. Rar is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, but Rar. I imagine Rar would be super good in this matchup, too. Um, yep. Yeah. That time he floats and gets the punish. Lod has no problem farming his team yeah. turnips. I've noticed that. He doesn't even throw them sometimes. A Z drop is probably slightly faster. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Lod's uh, got one of the best dash, dash dances on Peach that I've seen. On Peach? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like you were saying. Yeah, look at that. She doesn't get a lot out of her dash dance, but, like, it's still scary to be you knocked out. You really tight spacing. Right. Because it's so short. So, like, you can get stuff out of it, but it's harder, and Peaches often don't do it because right. you have to be so precise. Ooh. All right, it's not looking too good for Shard right now, but let's see what he can do. He's not switching, though. He's sticking to his gun. Yeah. I wonder if he plays Sheik in melee. Nice. I like that. Yeah. There you go. Jab is so good, man. Yeah. Like it really, really is. Like, every character, like, characters usually have, like, such a good jab for what they're looking for. Like, Jigglypuffs is so weak, but it's perfect because you use it to jab, reset, and dress. Right. Foxes is like, you know, you, everyone's jab is like perfectly designed for their character. Except for DDDs. Our sucks. DDDs, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's looking really rough yeah, it's for looking hard. Charge. Okay, get some, okay. Uh, some explosive oh. aggressive aggression. Oh my yeah, god. Sheik looks very, All looks very strong right there. All of a sudden, he just, as soon as I said something, right. something, <laughs> I stopped believing in him. He was like, nah, man, you gotta believe. Ooh, scary. I'm surprised that uh, Lod didn't just nair. Like, is that a percent where it would have sent Shard flying? Yeah, Shard coming off very explosively off the platforms yeah. now, using them pretty well, and uh, kind of throwing off Lod's spacing, it looks like. Whereas before he was doing a lot of on shield stuff and trying to like chase her down. Right. All right. Um, 
charts, like, basically even this up. I mean, he got he, he died there, but look at what percent Lon's at. Putting a lot of work there. Nice. Back air so strong. He's gonna kill kill Lod right there. And, you know, Ooh. A little bit of a, above 100%. Doesn't turn it around. Oh no. Okay, good jump out. Yeah. Air dodge. Oh no. But still gonna get punished. This fat punished because he threw his needles in the wrong direction. Up air. Wow, still gets it. Yeah. Like literally Big sits delay, and thinks yeah. about it. Slaps wow. him off stage and Lod right. with a 3-0 revenge. Lod, Lod matches the experience.